guys, so today I'm going to be showing you what's in my beach bag. This could also be like a what's in my pool bag, but my pool's in my backyard, so I don't usually bring a bag with me, because if I need something, I'll just come inside. So this is what's in my beach bag. Here is the beach bag that I chose to bring with me. I went to the beach today. So of course, I always bring my phone with me. I don't really use it that much while I'm at the beach, especially because the like connection there is really bad but I just bring it in case it works in my car if I like need to contact someone so I always have that and then of course I always have a towel I also always bring water with me and actually this was like a huge success I went to the beach today and this thing did not let me down I'm pretty sure I ordered it off Amazon and let me tell you this is the best water bottle ever you put your water in here you put your ice in here do it the other way around. You put your ice, you put your water. It stays cold. I'm not even joking you. The entire day, sometimes I even put ice and water in it like at night and I wake up the next morning and the ice is still in there, like not melted. It's so weird. So yeah, I always bring water. This is like perfect, perfect, perfect for the beach because it keeps your water cold and warm water at the beach when you're super thirsty is like the worst thing ever, so. Definitely need water. I also always bring a pair of sunglasses. So these are the sunglasses that I usually bring with me. I'm pretty sure they were like $5 at Walmart and they are my favorite sunglasses ever. So just super reflective. So I bring those and I also bring the case with me in case I want to put them in there. Ah, I should have talked about this first, sunblock. Even though I put on sunblock before I go to the beach, I always bring it with me because you gotta reapply, you go in the water, you're there for a few hours, you know, you gotta reapply. My absolute favorite sunblock ever is the Hawaiian Tropic brand. This is just the silk hydration one and then I have the little one for your face because my face breaks out with every single sunblock and so I've been trying different ones and this one so far has been good for my skin. I don't want to jinx it, but so far I've been really liking this one. So I have my sunblocks. I also bring food and snacks with me because I always get hungry, especially at the beach. My snacks of choice today were a pear because I always like to bring fruit. I just feel like it's very refreshing. And then I brought this Nature Valley bar, but I didn't end up eating it. But I always have one with me just in case. And then, I don't know, even though the water is so salty, I always come out like craving salty food, like chips or something. I don't know. So I brought these Quaker Pops sour cream and onion little things and they're really good and um let's see here gluten free they're just really good I like them a lot but always have snacks with me multiple snacks multiple snacks are a must oh I also have my keys you need to get there you need to get home all right then I love to read and so I always bring my book with me right now I'm actually reading a book on my kindle app on my ipad I'm reading the girl on the train I just started it like yesterday but <laughs> I'm kind of getting into it so yeah I just brought my iPad because my book is on there I also really like to do crossword puzzles and as you guys know I love Sudoku so both of those things I have on here as well so this is just a multi-purpose product that was so gross I'm sorry you had to listen to that all right then I just have a couple things for my hair because my hair gets crazy at the beach especially if I'm in the water like it gets some dropping everything it gets like so naughty and disgusting and I just don't even want to touch it so I always bring a little brush this is just a tangle teaser it's perfect because it's safe for wet hair and it's small so yeah I bring that with me also my holy grail this is my suave kids detangler spray it works wonders and so I always bring the detangler with me to detangle those knots and then I don't know my hair is not the type of hair that like you come out of the ocean and you have these like gorgeous beachy waves that has never been my hair I don't know if that will ever be my hair it needs a little help otherwise it will just be literally a nest of knots on my head so I usually like bringing a sea salt spray or some kind of like hairspray curl spray thing like that's really easy you don't have to get like gel on your hands so what I've been loving at the moment is the John Frieda Beach Blonde Sea Waves Sea Salt Spray this is a very mini size perfect for the beach bag no I do not have blonde hair but um this says it's great for brunettes as well so I really like it spritz 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 and you got those beachy waves. Okay, lastly for my beach bag, I tried something new. 
as of today. That is, I brought everything else in this little pouch. I have been trying to use my Ipsy bags for like practical things because otherwise they just sit in my closet and sit around my room and like I don't do anything with them and then they're just sitting there. So I've been trying to use them for actual things. So this is actually the last Ipsy bag that I just got. But what I put in it is a mirror. You never know. Maybe you get something in your eye. You know, you, you need a mirror. I always think. I have some tissues because things happen at the beach and you need tissues. Of course, I have some hand sanitizer. That goes without saying. I also have, oh, I have two chapsticks. One is a Banana Boat Aloe Vera sunscreen lip balm. This has SPF 45. I have a really bad habit of forgetting like SPF on my lips and then my lips get like really sunburned and it's very painful. So I've been making a new habit to always bring this and put it on with me when I'm gonna be out in the sun. And then I also bring with me my chapstick total hydration. Just because when I leave the beach, I find that my lips and really my skin is just like so dry and like I need moisture. So I put this on because it's super moisturizing. I'm gonna be in the car so I don't really need to worry about the SPF anymore. So yeah, just like a really moisturizing lip balm. And then, oh. I forgot I put this in here. I have a little stick of gum. It's not really little, it's a normal size stick of gum. And then the last thing I have is my like wallet thing with my driver's license, my debit card, and then on the inside I have some cash and a couple hair ties and some bobby pins. You never know when you need those. And that, my friends, is everything in my beach bag. I don't know why when I empty out a bag I feel the need to throw it to drop it, I don't know. It's just like satisfying, like get get rid of this, we're done with you. All right, so like I said, that's everything in my beach bag. Let me know what you guys keep in your beach bag and if there's anything that I'm missing in my beach bag. It might seem like a lot, but I don't really think it does, I don't know. These are things that like, I just use all of them. I know that I have them, I know that I need them, I know I'm gonna use them. Let's try something new. If you're still watching, thank you, number one. And number two, leave in your comment the phrase, I keep bananas in my beach bag. One more time, that's I keep bananas in my beach bag. That phrase just sort of came to me and we're gonna run with it. So leave that in your comment if you are still here watching. I wanna see like who stays around to the end. And I guess that's all I have to say. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you soon. Bye. Get in here. Oh, don't make me do this. You gotta guess. All right. Hey! Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. I'll be back. Oh, okay. That's going in. No, I feel so upset about that. <laughs> Get out of here. No! Love ya. Love ya. Lots of love. When you're done, your makeup brushes smell like clean babies. And who doesn't want their makeup brushes to smell like a clean baby? Am I right?